We are another week into 2023. The timestamps for my week in real estate will be in the video. But first off, we're starting off with the scar of the week. This is my father, La Antigüedad, and uh, Pepin Garcia and the Garcia family. La Antigüedad, meaning the antiquity, is a representation of the Garcia family's Cuban heritage. This is an amazing cigar. This is a masterpiece, expertly blended selection of unique tobaccos. There is a slightly reddish hue Ecuadorian wrapper. It blankets a double Nicaraguan binder, and inside there's a collection of a Nicaraguan tobaccos, and they come from three prominent different growing regions, and they're all aged at least three and a half years. So this is a very complex, yet smooth to medium full-bodied profile and yields notes of cocoa, coffee, leather, and a touch of pepper. So very excited for this. Let's light this sucker up. Oh yes, that is very tasty. One uh, description I saw online, it said, a strong and hearty smoke full of baker's chocolate roasted coffee beans and earth, but balanced by floral sweetness. Who doesn't want some of that? So getting into my week in real estate, this past Monday, uh, we had a basketball game. Other than that, just was on the phone with clients. Tuesday, I had my coaching call typically every week. Then I showed a single family home in Pacific Beach. Now this single family home, it had very favorable zoning and also back alley access. It was listed at 1.6 million. I personally thought that it was a little bit overpriced. The, uh, the, the unit mix was just a small little two bed, one bath, and the garage was um, semi-converted, but not really. It still needed a lot of work and uh, back alley access, but it was very favorably zoned. It was an RM37, uh, but again, at 1.6, but, but when I followed up with the agent, uh, right after the showing, it was only on market for a few days. She already had four offers in hand very straightforward. So again, it just goes to show the market is still hot, especially in the development scene. Um, that particular parcel had a lot of potential, especially if you were to scrape the existing single family home, you could have easily came in and built uh, 10 plus units. So the margins are there if you have the capital. Wednesday morning, I met with the appraiser at my listing in Otay Mesa. Always advise meeting the appraiser, looking sharp, being on time, dressing nice. Like I, I didn't have to be there. Sometimes when you're on the phone with the appraisers, when they go to set the appointment, they'll even emphasize that, but I still make it a point to be there. So I was there, let them in, gave them the comps, etc. Now, Now, just recently, Yesterday, I actually found that found out that we were tidewatered, and so we are the offer that we accepted. We were going to be the highest priced comp in that community at our specific bed bath square footage fl floor plan. So you know sometimes it's still going to happen where the appraisal comes in under, but you need to do the best you can um, in the meantime and try to mitigate that. Now because this was a VA and it got tidewatered. What we did was my clients drafted up a really nice professional looking PDF that very clearly outlined all of the upgrades of the property. And so we gave that to the buyer's agent so that they can go to bat and try to fight this appraisal. So we're still in the middle of it right now, but um, sometimes you can just do the best you can do. But I always advise meeting the appraiser at your listing uh, for the appraisal. Uh, it's very rarely that these tide waters happen. Thursday, I played some golf in Mission Bay with a friend of mine. I am not a golfer. However, I did birdie a, a par three. So I'll take some credit for that. That was the highlight of the day. Friday, I spent the majority of the day on the phone with clients, just following up and putting opportunities in front of people. Saturday, um, I had an early morning showing in Mira Mesa, and then I had dinner with a really good friend of mine at Born and Raised right before the storm came in. As always, if you have any questions about buying, selling, investing, feel free to reach out. I'll see you on the next video.